Good morning, Focus student. It's me, Ms. Chapman, here doing our reading vlog for this week. Um, I know I gave y'all two options last week to choose from, but um, since Earth Day is tomorrow, we decided to make this week's lessons um, kind of like an Earth Day theme, so I had to change the book, but um, if you do want to vote on the books from last week, which was, um, I think, Duck for President and... Um, the Magic School Bus, The Polar Arctic, <clears throat> you can, <clears throat> and I will read one of those next week. Um, so this week, I'm going to read um, A Sea Turtle's Journey for y'all. And y'all will have some questions that I will upload with this video. Um, you can answer them on the Word document and upload it to Teams, or you can email Ms. King the, the answers. And I will tell you those questions at the end of the story. So let's begin. A Sea Turtle's Journey, The Story of the Loggerhead Turtle by Lorraine A.J. So. In starry darkness along a Florida beach, a tiny loggerhead sea turtle thrashes her way up to the surface of the sand with dozens of brothers and dozens of sisters bumping and pushing. The hatchling emerges from the buried nest, a path of moonlight glimmers on the ocean. Attracted to the light, Hatchling and the others set out across the beach toward the open sea. And you can see little turtles going towards the water. Along the dunes, a hunting raccoon prowls in the shadows of the rustling grass. He snatches up some of the baby loggerheads as an easy meal. Ghost crabs scurry from the burrows, capture more turtles as their prey. Hatchling and a few others escape and dive under the rolling foam. In a swimming frenzy, they begin their journey to the deepest waters. You can see the raccoon, there's some crabs. When the first light Dawns in the eastern sky, Hatchling is far from shore. Uh, swimming near the surface, she breathes the salty air. A school of amberjack hunts the turtles in the water. Hatchling is lucky, as the lucky one they do not find. All day and through the night, she swims on and on, 25 miles out to sea. She climbs onto a raft of seaweed. With her four flippers tucked at her side, she sleeps in her sargasm cradle. Scree, scree, hatchling awakes to the calls of whooping seagulls. All around her, they pluck their dinner from the water. She hides from the birds in the bushy seaweed. She discovers that the sargasm is like a pantry of foods. Little fishes, crabs, and jellyfishes. Chomping on shrimp with her tiny jaw, loggerhead hatchling eats her first meal. Several years of growing past, loggerhead has left the open ocean to forage in coastal waters. Her shell is two feet long and spotted with algae and barnacles. Early one day, she dives through the sunlit water <clears throat> to a banquet on the ocean floor. She chases a calico crab. It pokes and jabs her with its claws, but loggerhead is strong. Crunch. She crushes it with her powerful jaw. At sunset, she feeds on a school of moon jellies. She doesn't see the snarl of abandoned fish, fishing line drifting in front of her. Loggerhead's neck and four flippers become caught in the jumbled web. She turns and wrestles, but the line tightens in the distance. She hears the humming of an engine. The boat speeds towards her in the growling darkness. Mm -hmm. See, you can see the line wrapped around her neck. Yeah. 
Loggerhead is trapped. With all her strength, she forces her mighty flippers down. Snap, the line breaks. Again, she strains every muscle. Up and down, up, down. She smacks the water as the boat races closer. At last, the line loosens around her. She dives, just missing the propeller as the boat zooms away. Loggerhead swims to the surface to catch her breath. A laughing gull takes a rest from the flight and settles on the water nearby. Together, they drift in the gentle waves. Night falls. Small ocean creatures shimmer in the water like a thousand diamonds. Loggerhead dives below and sleeps under the bow of a sunken wreck. Year after year, Loggerhead travels through hundreds of miles of ocean waters. As she grows, she explores coral reefs and basks in warm lagoons. At 300 pounds, wow, that's a lot, she swims with grace and ease. Late one spring, as if she knows an ancient secret, she begins her journey back to the beach where she was born. Mysteriously, she knows how to find her way. By summer, she's near the beach and meets male, a male loggerhead. In the waters offshore, he nuzzles her neck and they mate. Loggerhead chooses a moonlit night and awaits for high tide. Tonight, for the first time since she was a tiny hatchling, Loggerhead leaves her watery world and touches land. She has returned to lay her eggs in the familiar sand, but she is alert. If an intruder startles her, she will turn back and wait to try again. Awkwardly, she plows across the sand to the dune above high tide lines and stops. Sand flies through the through the air. Loggerhead sweeping four flippers make a shallow crater for her huge body. She then curls her hind, hind flippers like scoopers using one then the other. She digs a bottle shaped hole behind her. 107 glistening white eggs drop into the nest. Like a mother tucking her babies into bed, she pats sand over her precious clutch of eggs. She takes her time. A sea turtle nest is a feast for predators, so she makes sure her eggs are well hidden. She will return to dig more nests on the beach this summer, but will never see her hatchlings. Now, following a moonlight path, she tracks back to the sea and disappears into the welcoming surf. Two months later, under a starry sky, a loggerhead hatchling emerges from the sand. With all her brothers and all her sisters, she scuttles across the beach and begins her journey to the open sea. I think that is it. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. So, for the questions, um, well, first of all, I want to say that um, it's a lot of eggs that they lay, and um, sucks that she's never going to see her babies again. So, um, for your questions, um, the first one is, where do loggerhead sea turtles lay their eggs? Um, a, on a sandy beach. B, in ocean water. C, in a turtle home with their mom. The next question, what must baby loggerhead sea turtles do when they hatch from the egg? Is it A, swim to the bathroom? 
B, cry for mom to give them fish. Or C, crawl across the beach to the ocean. The next one, what do loggerhead sea turtles like to eat? Is it A, jellyfish, B, clams, or C, crabs? Name, and the next one, name something that can hurt a loggerhead sea turtle. And then finally, name two things we as humans can do to help loggerhead sea turtles be safe and healthy. So, um, answer those questions. And then, like I said, you can either upload them to Teams or you can email them to Ms. King. Um, and that's it for this week's reading vlog. I hope that you enjoyed the story. I know I did. I learned some cool things about loggerhead turtles. Um, and um, also, have any of you ever gone to the beach and seen um, turtle eggs um, that were there waiting to be hatched? I know in Galveston, they usually mark them. Um, they will barricade it off so that people know that they're there um, and to keep them safe so that nobody's um, either driving over them or stepping over them. Uh, I know I've seen them. I've seen it a few times when I've gone to the beach. But um, also, since tomorrow is Earth Day, make sure you do your part to help make our planet better. I know that um, like planting plants so, uh, or trees. I know I have some plants that I'm going to plant in my front yard tomorrow um, to do my little part to contribute. So I hope you all have a good week. I miss y'all and um, I can't wait to see y'all again. Bye.